Well, in the past, I've had some trouble finding the sun. Sometimes you'd think that would be the easiest thing to find, but the sea star struggles finding it sometimes. And I've put that in a video previously, and I had some viewers offer some suggestions about the little hole in the little lip on the filter for the solar filter. And I couldn't get that to work. And so I've been experimenting. And, but then, of course, winter happens and we haven't seen the sun in a long time. But today is the day and we have clear skies. It's beautiful outside, nice temperature, and we're going to try and find the sun. We are looking to conquer this centering the sun issue. And I think we figured it out and we're going to share that with you. Who knows, maybe we're late to the game on this issue, but this is for other newbies who are struggling to find the sun. And we just put the solar filter on, we did the go to the sun and it missed it, couldn't find it. And so we're trying to use the manual controls. But I noticed when it was trying to do um, it by itself with the go to function, that the shadows changed on the shadow of the sea star and that was the key that kind of clued me in that i think we figured out how to do this if you watch this video um, you can see the sea star rotating in its go-to function and then lo and behold there becomes a sliver of light down you can see down between the arm and the base of the sea star and that's the key so I had to go and recruit some helpers, one to video while I was working in the app. Um, so there's two videos going on here and we're going to show you how it works. So we, I'm on my phone using the manual go to the arrows, directional arrows. At the same time that I'm doing this, I'm wa also watching the shadow on the ground that is created by the sea star. And so it's kind of tricky to watch both at the same time. You may want to set the arrow directional things to slow so that the sea star moves slower because it's easy to breeze right past what you're looking for. But um, I have a helper that's recording the sea star too, so I'll show that video as well. But I'm just using those little arrows there to position the sea star to where we can see that line on the shadow of the sea star. Once you see the shadow change and you have that line of light, you're just gonna use the up and down arrows on this tracker in the app to get the sun centered in that field. If it takes you too long to go up or down, you may have to readjust to the left or right to get that shadow line aligned again. Um, I'll show you what that looks like on the shadow version as well. So um, we'll do that next. So this recording is happening simultaneously to me moving the sea star in the app. So you can see the sea star moving. And what we're looking for is that line of light to go down the middle of the sea star uh, shadow. Um, you see it right there, right there. And then we zoom past it because I was going too fast. So I had to set it to slow. And then I'm moving it a little slower. And then I'm just watching. If you watch right up at the tip of the sea star, you'll see it starting to elongate. And then you can do it really slowly. We'll keep watching. It's going to come up here again. When I refine it again, it's enlarging a little bit there. It's starting to enlarge, if you can see right up in the top. And I'm going really slowly. It's getting longer right there. Right there's the sweet spot. And so once I get to that point, I can just use the arrow up and down and it should come into the field of view on the app. Um, if I take too long getting the sun in the center from the up and down, I may have to readjust to the left or right just a little bit because it's, it's not tracking at this point because we haven't centered the sun yet. But um, this has worked for us every single time that we've tried it. It's a lot easier than doing that go-to and and then trying to, I, I've been sitting in the house while I'm trying to do the 
manual arrow things and I can't tell which direction the C star is turning. And But this one, I can get it every single time. And you can see that I'm moving it around here, um, trying to realign that, getting it up and down. And then once once you get the sun in the center, you can hit that auto tracking icon and it will keep it in the center for you. And so this is what we've done to center the sun and we've been able to get it to work every single time. And so get, hopefully you can give it a go. Uh, we did do some video recording of the sun itself. I wanted to see if we could get any closer images for star rain for one of the challenges in the community tab. And these are some of the results of today's imaging of the sun. And just for newbies, once we're inside the app, you can click those little arrow buttons up at the top center, and that will turn on and off, toggle the um, icons on and off so you can see it full screen. The little box in the center is for focusing. You can point to where you want it to focus, and then you click autofocus, and that's what it's doing here is autofocusing. And now it's done autofocusing. Um, I also, I decided to autofocus on those sunspots. And so that's what I'm doing here is pointing to the sunspots at the top and it's autofocusing. And then now I am changing the exposure and I went into the manual settings. So I clicked on the little buttons on the right for the manual controls, and then I went in to, to the manual ones, not the automatic controls. And I'm changing the exposure just so we can see those sunspots a little better. Then I just am dragging the sun around so that I can see the other sunspots that are on the sun. And I, you can see it tracking the sun is moving across the screen. And then I moved it out, out of the window and now it's tracking. You can see it moving across the screen. I've turned off the auto tracking thing so that I can see it moving across the screen because it's kind of fun to watch it do that. So that you do up in the top right hand corner. Now I'm just um, recording some video. I just clicked the red button right there in the bottom center and that's recording video for me and it saves it to my phone and to the C-Star itself. Up in the top right, hand, top right hand corner, you can see the timer on the video so you know how long you're recording. And this one is just recording it tracking across the screen. This is looking at some other sunspots on the other side of the sun. Um, they're pretty, big. I'm just putting the box around it to autofocus on those sunspots. And that's what's going on in this image. It's just recording that process. I can also use the manual controls on the left center of the screen of my iPhone to toggle those focusing up and down. You can do it either slow or fast. Um, I did end up using those a little bit to focus in. Uh, when it's looking at a big area, like a full screen thing, it doesn't always know what to focus on. And the sun is kind of a hard one for it to focus on because sunspots are um, varying in shapes and sizes. So it, it's not real fabulous all the time. So I do use that manual focusing while I'm playing around with all of these things. Then I did some of the enhancing to get it brighter so that the sunspots would show up and you can overdo it and get a green sun. So you have to be careful what you're doing with those. Now I'm going, what I'm doing is I'm going into scenery mode because I want to zoom in on the sun to see if I can see any of that solar rain activity. But I don't know if I can get close enough with the sea star, zoom in close enough and so that's what I'm doing here is I switched it to scenery mode and I knew I had the sun in 
the screen so i thought it was a good time to try it and i'm zooming into four times the size of the image and so it's i'm trying to zoom in on the edge of the sun to see if i can see any activity but you really can't all i can see is it tracking uh, the exposure has gone lower so it's kind of an orange color um, when you're in four times it's hard to get it to be the right exposure so that you can see those sunspots well but i'm just trying to center that sun enough that i can look at the edge to see if i can see any solar flares or anything like that and just as a spoiler alert i did not see any i don't even know if that's possible with the sea star if it is possible i don't know how to do it and so somebody with a lot more experience probably could tell how to do that um, i am now just doing a time lapse of the sun going across the screen and those are kind of fun because you can take a long period of time but then you're doing it in a time lapse so it speeds it up across the screen and that's what's going on here is it's saving that time lapse it's pretty cool to watch it creep across the screen but what what uh, happens is the exposure is very different so see it's getting really white and you can barely see those sunspots it's because it's so big it doesn't know what to focus on and so it's i'm changing the exposure right there i'm just using the auto exposure settings and so i lowered it a little and, and so you can see those sunspots and then i'm trying to get it just right so that the sunspots show but it's not a blinding color and you see I'm having a little trouble there because as it's moving across the screen different areas of the Sun are brighter than others and so it turns to that green and so I'm just trying to fine-tune that to see if I can get a really good picture of that and you see they're a little out of focus the sunspots and so I'd have to focus those again but we're just messing around with the controls at this point so that's what we're doing here. Um, I'm trying to move it to the edges just to see if I can see any of that solar activity, but I'm not having a whole lot of luck. It's not a precise thing when you're just dragging a picture across the screen. Now I'm using some of the other manual focusing the grain and those trying to get a, a good exposure. Now I've moved it back to one times the size for the sun so that it all fits in the screen, changing the exposure so that we can see those sunspots. Just trying to get that just right so that we don't get that big white um, bright spot right in the center. And then I'm moving it out so that we can do another time lapse of it creeping across the screen. And so now I'm just waiting for it to come into view and it's just barely starting up. You do have to turn off that centering the object um, icon that's in the top right hand corner of the app to make all of those icons disappear so you can see this, but it turns out pretty nice. It, it's kind of fun to watch it creep across the sky like that. I'm just using the normal video duration time. I'm not doing a time lapse or speeding it up or slowing it down. This is this is the accurate amount of time that it takes for that to creep across the field of view of the sea star. So it's kind of interesting. This is all still in that scenery mode. And it's only at the one times the size so it's not enlarged or anything. Um, it is hard to, harder to see the sunspots because we have changed the exposure on it so that it isn't glaring and it doesn't know quite what exposure to use. So it's trying to be automatic and figure that out. Um, I'm going in here and trying to adjust some of those things, but I think I'm adjusting the focus, trying to get those sunspots to show, but with with the moving, it's a little harder 
to get a good focus on those sunspots. You can also see that it's overexposed. You can see that ring right inside the center of the sun. That's because it's overexposed. And I do like to overexpose the sun sometimes just so the sunspots are more prevalent. And you can see how much time it takes for the sun to just creep across the screen. Here I'm going to speed up the video a little bit just so that it's going a little bit faster. Otherwise it would be a pretty boring video to just sit and watch. But this is speeding it up just a little bit. Not enough that it's zooming past, but just making it go a little faster. I'm still playing around with some of the autofocusing. I love that orange glow ring around it. It's pretty. And now it's just starting to leave the field of vision. So that's kind of a pretty shot. I, I really should have just turned off all of the icons and just let it do its thing. But I was messing around with some of the focus and things. But that's a fun experiment you can try on your own is to film the sun or the moon going across the screen. Um, but I would recommend turning off all of the icons and just watching it happen. I just was playing around with some of the keys in here, trying to get a good exposure and focusing on right on things. So there we have it. That's the sun going across our screen. Um, we'll speed it up here again and we'll show you some of the other features. Here I'm just moving the sun back into range and then I'm going to turn on that auto tracking so that it will stay in the center of my screen. Again, that auto tracking is in the top right hand corner of your screen. Here's a close-up still image of the sunspots. And this one is a bigger image. This video, you can really see the atmosphere interfering with the image. It's not holding still, and that's because of the atmosphere. But those are some big sunspots. I still don't see any solar rain or anything. I think the movement you see on the edge of the sun is just from the atmosphere. I'm trying again to move the sun to see different angles to see if we can see any anomalies. That's a time lapse of it going across the screen. That one turned out pretty good. And there's those sunspots again, I'm trying to center them. They're pretty big. I'm just trying to get to the edge where I can maybe see some activity. There's a time lapse of it going across the screen. You can see the exposure changes as it goes across. So there we have it. It's our beautiful sun. Uh, hopefully this has helped you in centering that sun so that you can image it yourself. Uh, it certainly is going to benefit us when we're doing it. I love to look at the sun, see the sunspots change day after day. It's a fun thing to do with the sea star during the daytime. So give it a try. Let me know how it works for you. If you have other tips and hints, share those below as well. And, it, and like always, we're wishing everybody clear skies.